So Gyaniki at Auto Expo and we are at uh, Shindingen, a uh, Japanese based firm and I am talking to Mr. Murli. Um, uh, Mr. Murli, uh, give us a, g a brief overview of uh, what products uh, Shindingen has been doing. Uh, most of the time when we are talking about EV space, we know they are either in development or some engineering concepts are happening. But we are here to talk about Shindingen because it's already in production. Which are your core products that you are already offering and which is in production? Yeah, thanks for this uh, opportunity. I think this Gyaniki. Gyaniki. So I congratulate and uh, thanks for this opportunity. We are basically a Japanese company. Uh, started way back in 1940s and 50s. It's a very old company. Started as a semiconductor manufacturer, but we are one of the very niche players. Uh, in the area and domain of the automobile as well as the upcoming EV forum and EV portfolio. So we do have our own uh, critical and very key functional products like motor controller. So like this is the motor controllers what we have we call it as power control unit. unit. So PCU it is the uh, one of the very key elements and product of EV motorcycle and scooter basically the two wheeler either moped or the scooter or the motorcycles so we are one of the very recognized uh, uh, manufacturer of uh, this range of products with the OE experience and automotive certified uh, uh, product experience so uh, so far yes you are right that uh, EV is booming but uh, we are already there in the EV space for so many years in that's Japan. also the one of the reasons to come to you and talk about what's the experience which has made you so, gone through and the production which is already there so yeah the, so they, the, so we have had our own uh, manufacturing experience and uh, you know design uh, field experience of these products applicability into e EV two-wheeler and uh, our products are proven for reliability and durability of the uh, EV two-wheeler space as in comparison to what is you know running in India today the most of the EVs uh, so I'm not trying to you know underestimate that but but at the same time what we are trying to say is that as in comparison to ICE vehicles and uh, our product would deliver definitely to the utmost satisfaction and feeling of same as the ICE vehicle so that is our key USP of our product actually good so two wheelers is the only space which you are operating or are you already offering operating with three wheelers and four wheelers so our product portfolio of course involves certain uh, four wheeler application product also but at this auto expo we are not uh, focusing on that okay so then with the PCU with the motor control unit what we know from the industry is uh, motors and motor control unit is uh, has to be developed together and when you do this independently how is the interface that is happening with the actual motor so that's 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 the normal i would not say as a myth actually it's not a myth at all of course but it also doesn't mean that it has to be a compact uh, partnership only can do with the uh, independent you know manufacturers of motor as well as separately for the pcu as well that is quite possible only with the proper coordination and support from the vehicle manufacturer which we already enjoy with our own uh, customers who are your present customers so there are uh, many mostly uh, the japanese customers of two wheelers uh, you name uh, all the you know japanese customers. suzuki if i name suzuki then yes, all the uh, two wheeler customers Honda. japanese they are our partners okay not today but for many years so, so we you we enjoy a lot of uh, good cooperation and uh, uh, you know business partnership for so many years in the so our factory is located at Bangalore since uh, 2012. So we have been catering to ICE product since electric vehicles are now a trend. So we have already uh, are starting our, uh, it is in the starting phase actually. We have launched one product and in the coming future we will be launching few more products of EV application. For the EV application are you already offering and producing? Yes, we uh, just started with the one product actually. Uh, I have, can we know which product is that? So I may not be able to <laughs> reveal that, sorry for that. So but for the one of the key reputed OEMs, our product will be employed very soon. 
so that we have started uh, but i in the down the line that uh, uh, we will be having much more many more upcoming uh, motor controller products we are also having dc dc controller in our product portfolio which is also uh, is one of the key offering from our side but at the priority we are uh, uh, focusing on motor controller right now okay yeah. so my last uh, question uh, when we are talking about motor control units it has to communicate with the vehicle control unit yes so there must be some kind of standard communication protocols yes. so what kind of protocols is this been uh, ensured Our products are you know can compliant and uh, has much more technically advanced than the current uh, you know so 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 so, so called uh, conventional controllers which are employed today uh, except a few i would say that of course so uh, yeah that is a can based uh, lin based also there but mostly the can based communication protocols we use in our product would you also be considering cloud based uh, predictive maintenance for the motors in the coming days yes of course that is there in the course for sure okay thank you very much so i am talking to mr murli from shindingen uh, they are uh, definitely uh, based out of uh, some experience uh, in the past it's been about 8 years uh, 2014 yes. when, when yeah. it is start 2014 for ev space for ev space for more than 10 years yes. for more than 10 years so definitely there is some confidence what mr murli sees there are already some uh, products which has been offered for uh, a japanese oem which it doesn't want to reveal at the moment and uh, thank you very much for this uh, Thank time you so much. and also we are also having a very vertical uh, integration of our own chips actually that is one of the key strength of shindig okay. so we will not be facing any semiconductor crisis as much as the other people are facing basically. so that's uh, one of the good things which you hear not many say most of them is always always talking about semiconductor industries being one of the limitations but we have the first uh, company shindig and telling that yeah. they have their own so, chipset manufacturing so other than this division might be we just give a turn around with a camera I focusing so just a moment please division of electronic devices devices is basically we are uh, one of the key niche reputed globally acclaimed manufacturers of power semiconductors the bridge diodes tvs diodes thyristors mosfets and power ic's and power modules we integrate and we employ our own semiconductor products into our products so as to keep safe from the scarcity and dangers of semiconductor crisis so the supply chain is never an hurdle for shending uh, it that <laughs> we have to rely on certain other uh, partners also but majority of the key components are protected from our own because we have our own wafer house and all so thank you then uh, my last question then would be that how is uh, the testing been done at shending and you have your when you say japan based organization manufacturing we could able to say that it is based out of bangalore but where is the engineering uh, team sitting is it in japan yeah uh, in fact it is right now it is in japan but we have plants to set up here in india also okay so you already has started hiring or no 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 that is all as per plan so maybe uh, yes we we are on the we actually because it is the requirement of the time so all right i think as time moves on we are in the transition phase from ic to electrification and shinding and is well prepared they have their own uh, chipset manufacturing components which is never a challenge for them uh, at least from the control units and motor control units is their strength and they already have tied up with the oems and soon uh, we should have some products uh, rolling out good luck for yeah. shinding and and uh, more electrification on the roads yeah thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thanks for visiting our stop yeah our pleasure